it's going to be about now that you know the title. I hadn't given that a lot of thought. <laughs> Catch him on the way out. <laughs> Start talking now. Okay. Yeah, we came in 2005 to see it. It was wonderful. It's called Man, uh, uh, Man One Bank Zero. It's about man's battle against the institution. It's just a fabulous uh, kind of uh, attenuated uh, experiment, I suppose, almost accidental. But it's so engaging that it connects to everybody. Uh, everybody who has been through something with any kind of institution that's inflexible. The review in the paper said, you know, is this a uh, true story that had all these unexpected ups and downs and pitfalls and, and lots of humor and I wanted to see something different and new, so here we are. <laughs> I came because they brought me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're looking forward to it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. He Sounds was great. he was in the stock brokerage and he was in the bank. He's involved in banking, so it'd be interesting to see that. It was recommended by friends. You know, I wasn't even aware of what the title was. Frankly, <laughs> <laughs> they, they came down and they bought tickets, came home and said, "We're going." To I expect to laugh. I expect to laugh, laugh, laugh. I expect to be really pissed off at the banking industry. Yes. More, pissed off. more pissed off at the banking industry, well put. <laughs> we thought it was about the banking scandal, but it doesn't seem like it's about that. So now what do you think it's going to be about now that you know the title? I hadn't given it a lot of thought. <laughs> Catch him on the way out. A great show to go to. That'd be a good write up. Thank you. That was fantastic. It was wonderful. It was definitely worth my time. It was great. It was hilarious. Excellent. Lots of fun. Absolutely delightful. It was so well told and like so engaging and just like it's great. You know, you, you you leave feeling like excited for people being able to take on these big institutions. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Why did you give the money back? Um, one, sim one simple principle, really, and that's it. I just didn't think I, that anybody was wanted to give it to me, and I didn't earn it. You know, I didn't want the bank to have it back. I truly didn't. I didn't feel like they deserved it. But I couldn't think of a reason why, if it started as a joke, that, it should, that I should suddenly switch my game and be like, no, oh, this is mine. That was super. That's great. <laughs> Very good. Hysterically Very good. funny. Very good. The minute I returned the money and I got home, there was one message on the machine. Instead of there being 60, like the day I hit, hit the news I had it, there was one message. And the, and the only message it was, was two radio guys in Cincinnati, and they are like, oh, you're such a disappointment. And that was it. That's all I ever heard, right? But that, that clarified it for me. When, oh, I did the right thing, because when I heard, oh, you're such a disappointment, I thought, I don't care. I don't care what your opinion is of me. But, but I, my mind instantly jumped and said, what if that message had said, it, I, I kept the money, and that message would have been a different person said, oh, you kept the money, you're such a disappointment. I knew right then that, that would have bothered me. I'd have been like, yeah, I know. I kind of kind of jumped through a loophole and scammed the bank, you know. And, and that would have bothered right, me. Right, so, yeah, right. so it's from the juxtaposition I went, oh, I don't care if people think I should have kept the money, you know. But I also don't care that people would have kept the money. Like, because that's a big thing. Because I was like, look, it doesn't, you know, there's, there's morals and there's personal choices. And if your personal choice was like, this bank, I'm keeping it. Good call, you know.